I decided to apply for the Career Enhancement Fellowship uh, because it it's, comes at a very crucial uh, period for many of us who are on the tenure track. For some, it's right after the third year review. For some, it's leading up to that review. And so that's a, that's a kind of make or break period for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. And to be able to have time off to either sort of respond to things that happen in third year review or prepping for the junior review, things that you need to, to actually have already in a pipeline, uh, having a semester, having a year off means a lot. Uh, because you're going to be able to kind of get so much work done and to have sort of direct communication with a mentor. Through the career enhancement um, support and having been a Mellon Fellow, I just feel it's always kept me in touch with a group of um, other folks in my cohort, with other alums, with faculty who are always contributing back to the program and giving those perspectives so that I remember I'm not paving I'm not having to reinvent the wheel and pave the way for the first time, but other people have been down this road before and they have good advice for me. I think our students are really what it's about. And if students don't see people like me, like you, in the classroom, then they will never think that it's possible to be an academic or an intellectual as a person of color, as a woman, as a queer person. And to not see that is to perpetuate the, you know, the, the social history of oppression where only certain bodies and certain um, certain privileges are allowed to be leaders. And so I think this is a great, a great way to show that leadership um, can be also intellectual. Um, and, you know, we need more people um, like us to be in those positions. Well, I'd just like to thank the people who have been involved in putting this fellowship together. I think it's a really great idea and it's a great opportunity. It really fulfills an important niche in, in uh, career development. So I'm very thankful for that.